Hey there. Forgive the lighting, we still haven't gotten electricity out of the barn yet, so I don't have any lights up yet. Well, I mean, the lights are installed, but I have nothing to make them turn on. So forgive the lighting, sorry about that. But while waiting for uh, electric to show up, it's time to keep going. Can't just wait around with our thumbs up or butts. We gotta progress. So what's next? Well, next is building this wall that encases the bathroom. Um, it's gonna be a little crazy. It's the most complicated wall in the barn in terms of the insanity of it. <clears throat> and understand, up here <coughs> will be the mezzanine. That beam that you see there is just holding the lines up. But there's gonna be a mezzanine up there at the eight foot mark, which means right at where that two by four is just above the door, that's the eight foot mark, there's gonna be a mezzanine up there. And it's gonna be a load bearing mezzanine. It's gonna carry a lot of weight, which means this wall, which is going to be a load bearing wall for it, in addition to being a wet wall, it's gonna be kind of complicated. So I got my base uh, footer board laid out. It's uh, pressure treated six by six, or two by six, excuse me, pressure treated two by six. And you'll see I've got some interesting marks on it. There's a big old giant X there. and. Then after 16 inches, there's a rectangle X. And after 16 inches, there's a big giant X and then a rectangle X and then a big giant X, another big giant triangle X and a rectangle and a big giant X. What are the big giant X's for? Well, good thing you asked. The big giant X's are for these big giant six by sixes, which are gonna carry the majority of the weight. The rectangular X's are for the other, are for the two by sixes, which are just kind of there to stop it from wobbling. But this bad boy is gonna have five six by sixes uh, carrying the weight. So we've got a baseboard, six by six will go up on top of the six by six will be a double stack, uh, additional two by six, two two by sixes on top of each other. And that will carry the weight of the joists uh, going across and they'll go over there and there'll be another setup over there, but this is a big one. So. I have to mark where those are gonna go, but then this thing has to get holes cut in it for these pipes, and because it's a wet wall, and because I don't wanna do it in sections and have it all weird and funky, I get to do the fun part of I gotta drill and cut a hole for that, and drill and cut out a big weird rectangular oval thing for those guys, and then one for this, and then this entire board will be lifted up and dropped flat down and it will be glued using concrete ad his adhesive to the floor. There will be no anchors going into the concrete. It's just gonna be glued in place. Why no anchors? Well, going back, we don't wanna puncture one of those lines. So it's kind of complicated, but that's, gonna, that's my next step is get this one cut, prepped, and set in place. And then I can attach, start attaching the six by sixes to it or, and just kind of weirdly build it up. Uh, you know, normally you build a wall in place on the floor and then just kind of stand it up. I don't have the ability to do that and, you know, cause I'd have to make it vertical and drop it down and just, that's insane. Uh, that would require equipment that I just don't have. So that's the next step. And then once that's done, we can build this wall. We'll come across and put the doorway in, but so that's where we're at. It's starting to get real funky. Thanks for watching.